Everyone walking around New York City has some sort of conflict, and sometimes we need help figuring out how to move forward. That's where New York Peace Institute comes in. We are leaders in conflict resolution services and training. We help people have difficult conversations, confront conflict, and move beyond the conflict. Given the process of mediation where you have a neutral person who is not biased, who has no stake in the game, it's really helpful because it's much easier to create a space to be heard. It's much easier to foster an environment so that people can speak and share. New York Peace Institute trains individuals to be mediators and coaches. We work with organizations around the city and the world to improve their communication skills. The training at New York Peace Institute is, is unlike a training anywhere else. We are interactive. There's zero PowerPoint in our trainings. We rely on a lot of visual learning techniques. There's drawing. There's real-time coaching. New York Peace Institute works in civil court and criminal court, saving taxpayers money and improving relationships. Conflict coaching and mediation give people the ability to look at the situation in a more productive and constructive way and instruct other people, not only themselves, in a way to kind of walk away from something or to reach out across to the individual that they're having a conflict with. We teach hundreds of NYPD officers the skills to mediate conflicts and to improve communication with the community. It seemed logical to partner with the Peace Institute to provide mediation training to these new NCOs, the Neighborhood Coordination Officers. And the goal there really is that we know that sometimes they actually will mediate disputes. Think of neighbor-neighbor noise disputes. Mediation training helps you learn how to be a good listener and it helps you learn how to develop options and helps you learn how to get information from people by asking different kinds of questions. If they actually mediate, fabulous. If they just use all the skills they learn in mediation training, they'll be better officers. And one of the, the first times I actually got to use my skills that I was learning in action was the first case I ever had to mediate at the Peace Institute. I mean, these people didn't even want to look each other in the eye when they walked in the room. And then they shook hands and they walked out. And I thought that could have played out really ugly in court. And it could have played out even worse if they had gotten into a fight in the street. And I found that, you know, once everyone felt heard, then they started talking to each other. To see it work was impressive. And to be a part of it was really awesome. We help change school culture and prevent suspensions. I remember when I was a kid, um, there, was a one, there was one way towards discipline, and that was, you know, you got suspended. You felt like you had a bullseye. You felt like everyone knew you were a bad kid, but you were labeled. And I don't know if there was any real learning behind that. With restorative justice, it puts more of the responsibility on the community. I think it's tremendous having our restorative justice coordinator, Kailani, just having that person there to like talk you through okay, this is a different way to approach a situation. Like, I see it, how it's manifested within adults. I know how positively it can manifest itself within our students. Students come to me when there is a problem. They want to talk about it. They want a mediation. That's my role here, trying to show people that there are other ways. We provide services and skills that support people in building peace and reducing conflict. And you can join our peace building team. Tell a friend about mediation, have a training for your colleagues, or donate to support our programs.